<laughs> I want to pass this one. <laughs> right. Well, this is a difficult question. Hang on. Can I say myself or not? <laughs> you, you lose that one. It's definitely me. No, this you cannot. No, no, this Come I on. cannot give names. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give myself an award. Do I have to say that? <laughs> Hard. Ah, it's a difficult one. I don't know, man. What do you think? Myself. No chance. I don't have a crush on him, but you know. Probably the one that everyone said it's me, no? Best haircut in Formula E. Oh, <laughs> not me. Oh, that's a tough one. Gary Parfait. <laughs> right. Well, this is a difficult question. No, I'm kidding. I have, the, I have the same problem. Probably Andre Lotterer. He always looks pretty sharp. Andre and Daniel can fight it out for that one. Best hair is Daniel. Daniel Abt. Daniel Abt. I think it must be Daniel Abt. I would say Abt. Abt. Daniel Abt. Standard answer. Maybe Alex Lynn? I still think it's Daniel Abt. Daniel Abt seems to take the most care of his, his hair, so maybe him. It's definitely me. Uh, okay, apart from me. I think uh, Pascal. Pascal. But it's like me and then there's a long time, like this. Oh my god, I have to look a very long, 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 long distance back. Yeah, Pas yeah I would also say Pascal because he has fancy hair, let's say, you know, a bit different, like little mushroom. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Who has a beard in this championship? Uh, best beard. Apt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I think if we wanted to grow it, me and me and Jeff could have a pretty good beard off. Uh, Lucas is a funny one. I think. Yeah. Uh, Lucas has probably the, the most manly one. I think it was Jerome, but he took his beard out. Daniel again. Well, I think I also have a good beard, but who else has a good beard? Uh, yeah, I don't have a crush on him, but you know. Jerome. Jerome. I mean, he's, he's had some impressive beards. I, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed he's trimmed, actually, because he had a really good bushy beard going on at one point. Yes, you're right. Jerome, yeah. Jerome, man, he... Not anymore, but at some point there, he was, he was doing this weird stuff with it, but it was working for him, I think, so. Well, I would go for Antonio. I don't know. I think he doesn't have it anymore, but... Grow, grow it again, bro. It, you were looking finally like you're over 18. Myself. Best dressed driver is. Okay, I would say up. Daniel up. We'll go to Daniel. Daniel for that one. He pulls a lot of effort. He pulls it, pulls it off sometimes. Most of the time he pulls it off. Best dressed. I would say it's, uh, it's Jeff. It's a good question. Uh, I would say, I don't know. Andre? Probably Jeff, actually, unfortunately, because he does, you know, yeah, probably him. Probably Andre? Best dressed. The two, the two, the cheetah boys. Well, that's us two, but as we can pick Wait, us, I think uh, Jerome. Depends what, what style you like, you know. I prefer the, the Jev and Andre style than the kind of German style. He looks classy, right? He looks old. The best dressed one? I don't know. Myself? Yeah. Me, of course. Pascal. Pascal Berlin. I know Pascal tries hard. Oh, I go with Antonio. Who might be the funniest guy? Uh, apart from me, of course. Funniest driver is probably Antonio. 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 Da Costa. Uh, probably Antonio. I think Antonio. I actually think Seb. I guess Seb, Seb, we get along like pretty well. So, yeah. A Bohemia. Yeah. When he gets on the radio, he's pretty good. Yeah. It's, yeah. You can just listen over it and over. What does he call this guy? Um, I think uh, Robin's pretty funny. He's a funny guy. I think my dopey sleepy teammate is, you know, he's, he's quite a laugh. I think Robin. Robin, yeah. Hang on, can I say myself or not? Uh, Jose Maria Lopez. Uh, Lopez. Lopez? I think Lopez. He's always joking around, when, even when he's angry. I'm gonna have to go with Pachito for that one. You know, I've caught him up on a few after parties and definitely they are not the same thing without him. He's doing a story. It's when you have a 24-year-old teammate. They're, they're Instagramming. I'm learning. I'm learning. You're teaching me. Social media obsessed driver. I mean, it's, it's a tight battle. Apt. Oh, Daniel. 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 I would also say it's me, but uh, uh, if it's not me... Daniel. He loves it. 
He loves the social media. He's good at it, so it's okay. Oh yeah, Daniel Abt. Daniel Abt. Abt, yeah. Well, Lucas also posts a lot. Lucas? Uh, Pascal. Bondon, probably? Uh, Stoffel. Yeah, Stoffel, yeah, 100%. I, I don't think there's anyone that comes close. Lucas. Probably Jeff? Let's say, let's say Jeff. Maybe Jeff? I think so far Jeff. Jeff is, is strong. I mean, he's, he's got a, a big crew around him, but yeah. Oh, these guys are f***ing my race. They're all in this series. But merde! Biggest Mona. Wow, there's a lot of them. Jeff. Jeff. I would probably say Jeff as well. Bayon, definitely. This Da Costa really has been the stupidest driver ever, seriously. What are they doing? Are they on holiday, the marshals, to remove the car? I mean, can it be any slower to remove a car, for God's sake? Car hasn't moved! I guess oh, Bohemi, yeah, Seb. Yeah. I love it when Bohemi moves. Merde, merde, merde! Bohemi. Bohemi. J'ai plus d'énergie! J'ai plus d'énergie! C'est ce que je t'ai dit, on s'est trompé. C'est pas possible, purée Mais putain de merde J'ai honte, j'ai honte. Degrassi. Degrassi. Still... Oh no, now I think it's Lucas Degrassi. Probably Lucas. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. Mr. Mr. Lucas. I mean, I can say it because I think he won't be surprised, but Lucas is definitely the biggest moaner, I think, guaranteed. Lucas, yeah, Lucas, yeah, okay. Uh, Lucas. Lucas, I forgot about Bern, so... It's definitely up there. But this is wrong. No, it's correct. This, this is completely wrong. This is we will not yeah, but it's now. completely wrong. Lucas, we will not argue that now. I understand, but it's completely wrong. That's just Lucas, you know. But. Oh, they're all out of shape, coming down into three. Vern covers the inside. Best offensive. Um, uh, Vern. Jeff. Probably Jeff. Jeff. I believe, I mean, if you watch some of the races as well, it's, it's Jeff. Best defensive, I would say Jeff, actually. He was, I think, uh, especially in Bern against Evans, he was really doing well, so uh, not easy to overtake him. I would have to say Jeff, because I couldn't get past him in Bern. Vern is going to hold on. Lotter in it's Buemi, <laughs> but out of the final corner, there's the checkered flag, and there's the win for Sean Eric Vern. I think Andre Lotter. I think Andre. And I think oh yeah, he was robbed of the win in, in Hong Kong after an incredible defensive performance. So probably Andre. They nudge, they nudge! And no, no. holds on! Oh, and Lotter has got damage! Lotter has got a puncture! He's out of the race! He's out of the battle for the lead! And there goes Vern! Vern leads in Sanya! Who's the best attacker? Me! Right? Lucas Agressi. Here comes Verline out of the final Zero. corner. Push, 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 push. Yes, yes. Great, great. Degrassi wins. Yeah, Daniel, Andre, Jeff has been good as well. I think Jeff. I think Jeff has done pretty well. I think Jeff, you know, there's a lot of times coming from the back. Yeah, Jeff was pretty good. He had quite a lot of overtaking maneuvers. Yeah. Jeff, in all fairness, he's pulled off some good moves. What a move from Jean Eric Vern around the outside of Sebastian Buemi. The crowd may well have been like that. That was wonderful stuff from Vern. The best attacking driver I would have to say is Andre. Mm. Andre is very aggressive. Oh, there comes Lotterer. Forces his way past Daniel Apt. Ah, uh, Lotterer. Probably Andre as well. <laughs> uh, I'd probably say Andre. Uh, Andre Lotterer. Lotter is wow. trying to pass. Here he comes up the hill. Boemi covers the inside, but surely he can't hold on. He's got to be super late on the brakes. Lotter is squeezing in. There's been a contact. And Lotter makes it stick just about. Sam Bird is a good offensor. Bird. This is a risky one. He's done oh, it. Oh, what a move from Sam Bird. There goes Roland at the inside into second place. Most underrated this year. Uh, yeah, me, I think. Maybe Oli. Oli Rowland. Well, probably I would say uh, Gunther. Do you know what? I'm going to go with Gunther. I think that he's come in under the radar and, and done a pretty decent job. Nice little lap here from Maxi Gunther out across the line and it's going to be quickest. That was the guy we hired here, very mature, looked like a veteran. I, I would say again my, my teammate Oliver and uh, I think we are evenly matched. Oliver Turvey. Oliver Turvey? Probably Oliver Turvey. Oliver Turvey. I think Daniel is pretty underrated. But also Turvey. So I would say Daniel and Turvey. Uh, Turvey? I think he's a strong driver and, and, you know, when everything goes right, I think he'll be up there. Uh, Gary Puffett. Gary Puffett. Gary Puffett with a brilliant lap to stick it forth and put both HWAs into Super Bowl. Actually, I'm going to stick with me. I'm going to give myself an award. Gary Puffett, the most underrated driver in Formula E.